That's her attitude. Well, howdy, 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 everybody. Teresa here in. Trying to get the docks in the move, Brad. Yeah. <laughs> we just got home. It is May 18th, 2018. It is Thursday, or Friday. Friday evening at 6.53, and as you can see, we did not go to the concert in the park because evidently we think they canceled it. We weren't going to go anyway because there's been so much rain. Hi, baby. There's been so much rain and stuff that, you know, and yeah, I think they canceled it. But anyway, huh? How do you do it? I know. Okay. Um... So, let me do the weather real quick. Trying to do this fairly quickly. As you see, Brad is putting away. We had to go and get some more um, produce. We seem to have to do that a couple times a week now. It is what it is. We're just, I'm just wanting, we're just wanting to be some whiny bitches today, aren't we, honey? Yes, we are. It is 80 degrees. Feels like 83. The high was 88. The low was 70. I don't need you to help me, Google Assistant. Go away. Dang. She's a nag. Okay, let's see. Um, it said we had a low chance of rain today at 20%. Oh, okay. Oh, man, it rained like crazy this morning. In this, yeah, 69% humidity. Dew point is eight, uh, 68. Uh, let's see. The wind is a... A uh, very light 9 miles per hour from the south. Um, our air quality is at a 50, which is ideal. Uh, sunrise was at 641. Sunset will be at 826. There you have that. So yesterday, I think I did my vlog fairly late. And what did we have? We did end up having some french fries. Not very many. And I told you guys I was all like, you know, I'm going to have to go eat in a craft room or go in a craft room. And then I got thinking about it. Why was I making such a big deal about french fries when all they are is potatoes? And if I was doing oven fried potatoes, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. So I didn't get why. Why was I making such a big deal out of it? And I just had a few. The thing is, I can't do straight keto. Because... I am like an angry bitch. I'm going to say it. I'm an angry bitch. Brad's an angry bitch. <laughs> right, honey? No. So, I mean, I got to have a few carbs. Not very many, but a few. And I know there's other people like that. And I just, I don't believe wholeheartedly in the philosophy of keto. And if it works for other people, awesome. But... Like I said, other cultures, like the Asian culture and stuff, my husband's part Chinese. Uh, you know, their diet is a lot lower in protein and they eat rice. You know, now we do eat high protein. Um, you know, we eat limited carbs, of course, because we're diabetic. Um, but, you know, that's what it is. I'm going to have one meal a day, which is going to have some carbs. Like tonight, we're having tacos, soft shell tacos, the small ones. And I'm going to have some of that. I'm either going to have that or I'm going to have taco salad and then ha uh, cut up my tortilla on that. Um, I'm not sure which I'm going to do yet. Um, but so... Last night we had a few french fries, and what did you have with your, oh, we had some chicken tenders, and then I had, um, I cooked some fresh spinach, or he did, actually, and some some eggs over the top. It wasn't very good like that. I have to be honest. It wasn't very really good like that. I won't do that again. Usually I cook the spinach, and then I scramble the egg in it, and that's, that's good, but, um, you know, uh. That's all wildflowers. <laughs> you want me to find them for you? No, okay. you're, you're busy. They're, they're in a regular um, store-bought packet. Um, I did go in last night and um, do some painting. Did some pours. Um, I'll show those later. 
you know, from other time. Um, changed up a few paintings. I did list earlier today. I, I did six auctions or six listings on Etsy. My Etsy link is below. It's the same name as here. If you'd like, to, if you're interested in any of them, I would greatly appreciate it because I want to save up money to help with um, bills and medical bills. And I'd like, we'd like to start working on getting either um, a motorcycle or uh, an expensive car or something. So, you know, I'd have some transportation too. I'm not going to do the motorcycle, but, you know, I don't know if he's interested or not. But anyway, this is one that I just listed. I call it Jungle Fever. It's a free form acrylic abstract. Acrylic pour. It's 11 by 14. And you'd have to get up close to see all the details. But That's anyway. Cool. You know, and it kind of shimmers. It's got gold and copper and stuff in it. So. Is it? Yeah. And then I did these two, which I'm kind of excited about. And, um... What was that? <laughs> I don't know. It's my thingy dinging. I don't know why my thingy dinging, honey. Um, these two uh, are, I got to get them unstuck because they're magnets. Um, they're four, four, four by four painting. Um, here's one. And you'll see it shimmers and stuff. It's got a little bit of glitter in it and stuff. And then this one, too. You see it shimmer? And, um, this is sold as a set, um, and they're only like $12 in shipping. And you can also use them as needle minders. I did test them for that, and let me know if you want them as needle minders, and I'll put an extra magnet with both of them. What, honey? Can you pause for a commercial message? Hang on. In a while. Okay. But, yeah, so anyway, yeah, if anybody's interested in these, like I said, they'll look cute on your fridge or whatever kind of metal you have, or um, if you want to use them as very big needle minders, is you could set them on your table, like, uh, where's my needle I tested it out on? Because, uh, you know, it's got pretty big magnets on the back. Um, let me see. I'll do it with this pair of scissors. You know, if you want to set it on your table, and then, and see? Strong magnet, so, yeah. I mean, if you wanted to set this on your table and you want to be able to have, here's my needle, your needle and, like, your scissors, that's what I like to do. Um, see, and they're all, oh, I tilted it too much. That made me, the weight of the, of the scissors. See? So, anyway, there's that. And I listed my paintings for last week that I hadn't ever listed. I'll show those. Real. I'm trying to get some some cells. I'll admit it. But here, this one is 8 by 10 stretch canvas called Under the Sea. And, um, and what artist doesn't want to sell some of the work? This one I named Better Life. <laughs> you know, like you have a better life. And um, the better fit. 8 by 10 stretch canvas also. These would look good you know, together. So, with those, and then I have, you guys saw how much work I have in my, in my creative room already. This one I named, um, Heartbeat, because it's kind of what it reminds me of. And then, this one, what did I name this one? Flowing. And the nice thing about these, these acrylic, like this, you can put them just any way you want. So anyway... If you're interested or it's never too early to start Christmas shopping or whatever, there you have it. So, um, in fact, I was in there working. Brad got up. He couldn't sleep. And, um, you know, I had been working on a hat. So I had I had yarn spread out. And I was in the um, creative room with my headphones on, doing a pour, doing my thing. He came in and told me that he was, uh, you know, couldn't sleep if he had up watch TV. And it was kind of like, you know, he didn't realize there was this whole other, you know, life that takes takes place after he goes to bed. I mean, as far as 
you know, me spreading stuff out and, you know, working and stuff. Um, just doing my deal. Um, I do plan on starting a couple of classical paintings. I'm still having fun with the pores and messing around with them. I'm going to do some classical ones. And um, I did finish a hat last night also. Right there. But I got to be honest about something. And I just told my husband. He knew something was up. But I'm not feeling real hot, guy. And what it is, is I think I have another infection. I think I have another bladder infection, and I'm not going to go into the doctor right away because I'm hoping maybe I can flush it out. Um, because I know that she's not just going to call in a prescription again. And I really don't want to be sent to a specialist because I know that she's thinking she's going to need to send me to a urologist. And I'm thinking the same thing. So I'm just kind of trying to wait. First part of June, we have a doctor's appointment anyway. So we'll have to see. And, you know, my numbers are still for my blood uh, sugar is still setting around the 150s. So we're going to have to watch that. Um, but I didn't sleep very well last night because I was in enough pain and have to go up to the restroom very frequently. So, we're going to have to wait and see. Um, if it gets a lot worse over the weekend, I won't have any choice but to call, you know, and, and go in. So, um, it is what it is, you know. Um, but I'm tired of being on all the antibiotics. I know my friend Vicki knows how that is. When you sit with them, a bunch of different um, infections and health deals, and you're just like, God, you know, my body's tired of going through this, I'm tired of going through this, I'm tired of feeling so tired and weak and and stuff, as you guys know, I haven't been near as, quite as energetic as I was even a week ago, but, you know, it is what it is, and you will get it handled, um, you know, a lot of other people have things a lot worse, so, um, when I did get up, like I said, I went in and, and after dogs and I all have a love up session when before I ever get out of bed. Right, Nixie? And then um uh what else did I do? Oh, and then you know, I, I kinda of my normal getting dressed and, and stuff and um dog dog wouldn't even go out the only one that would even go outside was Missy. Um uh, because you had rain like crazy and thundered and everything. And then, um, I didn't have too long today. I did it all yesterday. I'm sorry. I'm trying to think of what, it's not very well planned out. So I'm trying to do this fairly quickly. Um, so I went in, took pictures of those, the paintings I needed to take pictures of, listed them all. Brad came home a little early. And I was still finishing up the listings. And then we ran to Walmart to get more produce. So we go through a lot of produce. Speaking of produce and stuff. And I was explaining to you guys about, you know, I need to have a few carbs. You know, that's just how my body works. Brad needs a few more carbs than I need. Of course, he's a man and, you know, and, uh, you know, men are, are wired differently. And, and he works outside the home. Um... But, uh, what was I going to say? I was so disappointed when I weighed in. I weighed in. I was three pounds heavier than last week. I'm like, what the F? What the F, really? I'm walking around hungry all the time. Fighting myself at night. Really? And I know that I'm dropping because my stomach is getting a lot smaller. And that's why I'm telling you guys about the hernias aren't causing a problem because as I've been dropping some weight, that's shrinking down. I mean, you know, it's not as, you know, if you lose fat cells, then it's not quite as prevalent. So 
when I do need to have it repaired, the lighter I am, the better, of course. But and I but I remind myself that I'm not doing this change of eating for um, the pounds or anything. It's for health benefits for the lower A1C, um, you know, and that I'm well within the guidelines of the diabetic um, eating uh, diet. I'm under on that silly card, so, you know, nobody worry. I'm not throwing in a hat. I'm just adjusting, adjusting. You know, it's kind of like at night, you know, I'll be so hungry and stuff, and I never think, well, you dummy, you should, you could just have an apple. Because, yeah, they did some carbs, but, you know, it's very fibrous, too. It will stay with you quite a while. That would really cure the hunger pain. Like so many of you, when I fight it the most is... At night, so does Brad. And like we go through cottage cheese like crazy. We buy two to three containers a couple of times a week. I mean, we both eat it, but you know, like the imitation crab meat, you know, um, Brad does some of the wheat thin crackers. Um, I like the sugar free popsicles, but they didn't have the kind I like. I wasn't going to buy the more expensive kind, so I'll just do without them. So, but anyway, I'm going to keep fine-tuning it, but I was disappointed in stuff. But, you know, I know that long-term, I know I'm doing what's right. And like I said, I have to kind of adjust, you know, it's mainly keto. And I know that, no, then I won't be in ketosis. You know what a guy means. If you guys have watched the magic pill on Netflix, you know what I mean. But, I'll, you know, low carb is better than full carb, you know. So, I'm keeping it under 30 grams a day. Or under two carb servings a day. They say that 15 and under is one carb serving. If it's, if it's even 16, then it counts as two carbs. I'm, I'm right, I'm under, you know, I'm no more than two carbs a day. Usually I'm about one, so. Anyway, that's all I got to say. Um, let you guys next, know next week how that's going. Um, you know, come undone now. <laughs> These things don't want to come undone. So, um, anyway, if you would be so kind or interested, say please take a look at my Etsy. You know. Um, I'm not, I do, I would do commission on acrylic pores. If you had like a couple of colors that you wanted to see combined in acrylic pour, you know, you do have to pay for, for commission work before I do it. That's just the way it is. Um, but yeah, let me know. Let me know, let me know. I would really like to someday be able to have a vehicle to, be able to run errands or, you know, stuff. That would be nice. But, you know, it'll be what it's supposed to be. Right? Right. So, anyway, I'm going to get off of here and go cook dinner. We're having tacos tonight. I'm also cooking a great big family pack of chicken thighs. Um, take the skin off them. Uh, so, that'll be good to have in there. Anyway, love you guys, and I will talk to you later. I hope you have a great one. Oh, I did answer comments last night, too. Bye.